Welcome everyone. This is the task video for quantitative aspects of chemical change. We will do some practice questions on the different aspects that we covered in this series. Have your pen and paper ready to answer the questions. Remember to pause the video if you need to write something down. You will also find all the questions in the guide to quantitative aspects of chemical change available on Mindset's website. Let's begin. Calculate the relative molecular or formula mass of ammonium nitrate. Calculate the relative molecular or formula mass of aluminium oxide. Calculate the relative molecular or formula mass of ethanoic acid, which has the formula CH3COOH. Calculate the molar mass of sodium carbonate with the formula of Na2CO3. Calculate the molar mass of hydrated magnesium sulfate with the formula MgSO4.7H2O. Calculate the molar mass of calcium phosphate. Calculate the number of moles in 7 grams of nitrogen gas. Calculate the mass of 0,4 moles of water. Calculate the number of moles there are in 0,25 kilograms of calcium hydroxide. Calculate the number of molecules in 3 grams of chlorine gas. Calculate the mass of 3,01 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of iodine. Now we have a question on how to calculate the empirical formula for chemical substances. 13 grams of zinc combines with 6,4 grams of sulfur. What is the empirical formula of zinc sulfide? Determine the empirical formula of a compound that is composed of 36,5% sodium, 25,4% sulfur and 38,1% oxygen. 10,2 grams of aluminium oxide is strongly heated in the presence of hydrogen gas until it is reduced to 5,4 grams of aluminium metal. Determine the empirical formula of aluminium oxide. Calculate the percentage composition by mass of nitrogen present in ammonium phosphate. In the next question, we will look at the relationship between the number of moles and the concentration of a solution. 87 grams of potassium sulfate makes a solution with a concentration of 0,8 mole per cubic decimeter. What is the volume of this solution? For this question, you need to know that the molar volume of a gas at STP is 22,4 cubic decimeters. 308 grams of CO2 are released into the atmosphere at STP. What volume will the gas occupy? Remember the steps to solve stoichiometric problems. Write and balance the chemical equation. Convert what is given to number of moles. Refer to the balanced equation and look at the mole ratio. Answer the question. If 33 grams of hydrogen gas is produced when aluminium metal is dissolved in hydrochloric acid, what mass of aluminium was dissolved? Consider this balanced equation. 2NaOH plus H2SO4 reacts to form Na2SO4 and 2H2O. How much Na2SO4 is formed if 58 grams of H2SO4 reacts with an excess of NaOH? In the same reaction, what mass of Na2SO4 will be formed if 62 grams of NaOH reacts with an excess of sulfuric acid? And now for the last question. Determine the volume of oxygen calculated at STP that is liberated when 43,4 grams of mercury oxide decomposes completely into mercury and oxygen gas. Grade 10s, these are just a few examples of possible questions on the topic of quantitative aspects of chemical change. It is extremely important that you practice a lot more. You can do that by visiting our website for more resources. Keep well and goodbye.